this become a Rochelle stan account? <laughs> Deuce, and I am back making Cronish reviews. Um, we are doing season four, episode three, Demons. And this is very interesting because I didn't really like the first two episodes in my skull. I thought it was petty drama. And yes, there's still drama in this episode, but it's, I feel like it's more organic, okay? Like they was really like fighting each other for no reason. And the whole problem with season two started because Zoe wanted to steal a pinata, which again was stupid. Um, but this one makes sense. Uh, Rochelle rightfully is mad. Um, Vivek, we're picking up where we left off. So yeah, he got arrested. He went to government, I mean, went to trial. So now he's been community service and stuff. It's it's a natural progression of events. Oh, and we're seeing the effects of Jazz being gone with her sister for so long, which I'm gonna talk about that. But yeah, let's, let's talk about it, let's talk about it. So the main plot is always about Zoe. Zoe is trying to get an internship, but a little uh, obstacle, tragically, is, well, not tragically, but um, is Rochelle. And Rochelle gives her uh, information about the internship, and Zoe's like, why isn't she mad? I thought she'd be more snaky and upset. So she talked to Aaron about it, and she thinks that's weird, which I, I don't think that's weird. Um, why does she have to act like this? And if you think she's going to act like this, like... I don't know, like, why were you really expecting that? And why were you disappointed? But it's because Aaron didn't tell her that she was she cheated on Rochelle with Zoe. Um, he did say that he broke with her and he's now dating Zoe, but he didn't also say he cheated on her. So that's why she's not as mad. Um, and so Zoe said that because he felt when she felt that she needed to know, she didn't. Um, and she was like, are you think I didn't already know that? And she really dragged Zoe because Zoe was, um, you know, she was a snake. People don't think she's a snake, but she is a snake because Zoe was like, yeah, nothing's going on between me and Aaron. Just letting you know, we're just good friends. And Rochelle also made it very clear. I don't want you to be with Aaron, okay? And we can talk about if she had, you know, does she even have the right to be saying stuff like that? Um, cause I do think she should have said that to Aaron, that Aaron should try and distance himself from Zoe. That's neither here or there. Point is, Rochelle made it clear to Zoe that she's uncomfortable and she did not like that. And then she apologized, like, yeah, it was me being insecure, whatever. No, she wasn't being insecure. You did snake her and she's mad about that, rightfully so, okay? And then she got an internship, don't know how, She's an angel. She got Zoe a good internship with a Cal U alum in the fashion design. And I'm really interested to see how that goes. Cause did she set her up or is it just a genuinely good internship? But yeah, Rochelle's mad and rightfully so. That is the most acting that actor has had to done the entire series. And it was good. Okay. My last video about Grownish was with the colorism in it. And uh, cause I was upset that Rochelle didn't do anything. So I'm, she did something. I like that for her. And Zoe, she need to get dragged. She need to get told off. She need, you know, this is what she needed. Next portion of the um, the plot was about Jazz. And Jazz, she meets this, well, she re-meets this one guy who they thought was straight, but he came out as gay and it's been a lot for him and stuff. And, um, we don't get to hear much about that. I think the whole GBF thing is just for like shallow adversity. <laughs> um, but my thing, cause because he introduces something to like, you can take a mental health break from track and still retain your scholarship. And then Jazz uses that later because she apparently is no longer interested in running, which makes sense because when she thinks of running, she thinks of her sister and she's not running for her sister. Well, she feels incomplete. It's not the same. And I understand. Um, so yeah, she doesn't want to do it anymore. And honestly, I don't understand because she had a whole thing like last season when she found out Sky made it and she didn't. Why didn't she use that as a mental health reason? But no, she was like, I'm crazy. And she didn't put any effort into the acting. She was like, I'm crazy. So I, I, I think I need to be taken out. And she was like, how does this affect your performance? I'm just crazy. Girl, you really could have, there was a real, like, I don't know why the writers didn't say that because it was right there. It literally was already said. So yeah, 
that was weird to me, but I'm glad. Um, I want to see what Jazz does next because she's trying to be a really different person, like narrative wise. She's no longer going to be the track girl. She's no longer going to be the twin. She's no longer going to be Doug's uh, girlfriend. So I wonder what this is mean for a character at the end of season four. And finally, we have Vivek's portion of the plot, which um, I'm glad they retouched the fact that he got arrested for drugs and he got off really easy. He got a misdemeanor. He has to do a lot of community service. Um, and so life was like, it can't be that easy for you. Cause that community service was, what was he doing? Was he doing a car wash? There's a lot of water. It was really, really fun. Like what is going on? But yeah, he now, um, the school was like, yeah, I'm being expelled. So what does that mean for his character? Because, so I was, cause, oh, and also that house was paid through by drug money. That well is gonna dry up really soon. So I, it looks like he did get a traditional job, but I'm just trying to figure out how this is gonna go. Because uh, bills need to be paid. And the girls, I've never seen them work a day in my life besides Zoe, but Zoe's no longer employed. So yeah, I don't know what's going on. And honestly, that's all I gotta say. It, um, I wasn't, again, I wasn't too interested in Mexico because I thought it was petty drama, but I thought they did this episode a bit better. So here we go, we got a video. But yeah, thank y'all so much for watching. Tell me what you think and I'll see y'all in the next video.